Hi guys, welcome to this video. So what I'm showing you guys today is my second video in my Plastic Heresy series, which is basically where I'm trying to uh, create a Horus Heresy army without using any of the uh, resin bits. Uh, a couple of reasons for that. I, I love working with Styrene, and number two, I can't afford resin, <laughs> especially not Forge World stuff. So, um, the, the squad I wanted to show you guys today, or the unit I want to show you, is my breaches. I've made 40 of these guys, um, but I'm going to take you on a closer look so you can see how I went about doing it. Right then. So this is basically how they look. Now there's 40 of these guys. In fact, there's 41. Let's get, um, oh, I don't know, this fella from over here. So the way these shields are done, because this is all styrene work, is it's actually layered up. Um, so there's a there's a layer that does this sort of raised bit along with um, this bit at the bottom just as I knock some over and um, there's a raised there's a layer here that does the the detailing for the hand um, and the bit around where the gun sticks through and then there's a couple of layers that make up the main body and then one on the back there and I've actually got a couple of layers here to show to sort of give you an idea of how it works so this one here is obviously this design you can see and this is the layer that does that there obviously it's missing the bit at the bottom and then you've got this bit here which does the main uh, body of the shield when you put the two together you get uh, if I can get the lighting right there you go you can sort of see it there it's a lot easier to see when you look at uh, these models of course and then I've gone in and done some um, bullet damage cut out some chunks and just made them look uh, fairly worn now these are coming up terrible on, on camera because they're basically uh, dark metallic and uh, and then a, a lighter metallic accent. <laughs> and uh, anyone who's tried to photograph metallics will probably tell you that it's it's really difficult to get them looking right on camera. They're either too dark or too light or the light interacts badly with the silvers and makes them look terrible. Um, I always have a really hard time taking pictures of these guys. Uh, or video in the case of this they they just basically look much better in real life which is a bit of a shame really so this guy here is an example of what I've done for one of my uh, sergeants so I've put a different shield design so all these guys in the back here have got this very basic shield design with just the hand cut into the uh, the top layer of the shield as you can see from all of these and uh, it's a much more basic design on the the average guy um, this here looks a little bit more ornate and a bit more uh, fancy. So that's what I've done to uh, sort of show them on the front. And on the back here, what I've done is I've taken a uh, chain sword from the, uh, the kit and I've stuck the power sword onto the end there just to make it look a little bit more uh, iron handsy, a bit more beefy. Um, and I like the way that looks. Of course, these guys, I haven't finished painting them at all. I need to do the eyes. I probably need to do some work on the power swords and picking out some more colours around certain things. Um, and one of them I have actually had a go to see what weathering would look like, which is this fella here. As you can see, we've got a bit of weathering on the front of the shield and the back of the shield. Um, it's a red colour because the uh, game board that I've got for the outside, uh, or, the, or the game mat, is red. And also, they're standing on these really rusty Zone Mortalis bases. Um, the idea being that this is kicking up some rust as well. So it works on both fronts. It means that I can do this sort of red... Uh, tinge dust sort of sand on my uh, vehicles and it means I can also uh, stick red on these fellas here so I'm, I'm pretty chuffed with that it seems to work fairly well so I'll probably roll that out across the whole lot now I've got 41 of these guys um, and four of them look like this so this is something that's called the, the Vexilla uh, those who play 30k will be familiar with what this is it's basically um, it's almost like your uh, banner guy this, this guy gives a, a boost to uh, the uh, leadership, or rather being able to re-roll re -roll leaderships. Now, um, the Iron Hands one, you can buy a kit from Forge World, and they might have actually uh, discontinued it, but it comes with basically some servo skulls around a central uh, post here. Um, it's a lot less ornate than the other uh, legions, but it does have these cool servo skulls on the side. So I basically tried to mimic that and made my own version, as you can see there. I haven't painted it at all, um, but... Yeah, I'm really happy with the way that came out. I need to uh, obviously finish painting the servo skulls, the back of there, and make it look nice. Just grab another one here. This one's only got one servo skull, so I needed to reinforce it, so I gave it this uh, <laughs> this pipe at the back there. Not sure what it does, but there you go. 
So that's basically what I've done for my troop choices for Zone with Alice. I've got a bit of an issue. I, I love the look of breaches. And unfortunately, I couldn't afford to buy the Forge World ones. I think I've done a fairly good job of uh, making a version of them that I can that I've been able to make myself for much much less money and uh, yeah I'm fairly happy with it. I've done the shoulder pads on these guys uh, you can see there I've done a hand on that and a cog on that side there again this is cut with the same thing and then there's a little cog on each knee pad so on each right knee pad of these guys they've all got a little cog and uh, and that goes throughout the whole army <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure why I started that and I uh, kind of regretted it when I decided to do 40 of these guys but um, yeah pretty happy with it. Um, so yeah let me know what you think down in the uh, comments if you like what I did with the uh, the weathered guy let me know as well if you don't like it again let me know I'm always keen to hear um, if you want to see more of my uh, my conversions that I've made to make some plastic models into uh, Horus Heresy models uh, of course let me know as well. Right, I think that's all I wanted to show you guys, so keep up with me in between videos over here. If you have been, you've probably seen all of this already for quite some time, because I started working on it about two or three months ago. Um, but yes, yeah, so you're more than welcome to follow me over there. And yeah, thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Stay well, guys.